88 degrees, not hitting the 90 degree mark, but we're going to flirt with it today. And very humid <laughs> and hazy, hot, humid, the three H's, you name it. Can all you of that. give an example of flirting with it? <laughs> hi, 90. Oh, no, no. Oh, your hair oh, looks hi, so 90. good. Oh, no. Oh. Right? You're like, we're going to go there, but not going to go there. So. We laugh, we have fun, in part because we're here with our friend Kelly Miller from the American <laughs> Diabetes Association, who joins us every Monday with some, um, some great recipes. I, I wish this was, you could smell this at home. It's so aromatic. Delicious. Yeah, I you put that. some red onions with something, right? And it gives you that, that like, smell. summer, like, yes. outside this picnic flavor. This is a classic flavor. summer, uh, classic summer salad. Yeah. And I love that you've taken a salad and sort of, well, watermelon, a summertime favorite, yeah. and created a twist on it. Right? Fourth of July, you think, like, watermelon, sure. the pies, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you, I mean, you can have watermelon, which is a great fruit, lots of potassium, which is, oh, which is great. Okay. Oh, and then it gives okay. you... It's a real, um, you know, it has a lot of moisture in it and mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of good nutrients. So you can just have watermelon and eat it like that, or you could mix it up in a salad. You know, the trick with all the barbecues, salad, I want to do something different. Over the greens, something like that. And then, uh, I would have never and, thought to use watermelon yeah. with uh, salad greens. Or, yeah. Or, I mean, I've seen it done with feta because you that the salty uh, saltiness of the mm -hmm. feta yep. and the sweetness of the watermelon. Yeah. That just works so well together, doesn't it? Yeah, and you can, um, when you cut the watermelon up, the only thing that takes the prep besides, you know, putting it all together in a bowl and mixing it up is you could marinate it with lime juice, any kind of citrus, and it'll bring out the flavor a little bit. Marinate so I cubed, the watermelon? Yeah, so I cubed this yesterday and then just sprayed some lime juice over it, left it in the fridge so it's nice and cold, and then I just mixed this right before oh my coming out. That's the one thing I was going to ask yep. you, because it's probably something that doesn't keep for very long. Yeah. Well, watermelon will, will, will go oh, for yeah. a while, you know. I wouldn't put the... I put the balsamic on, you know, right before you're, mm -hmm. as That's you're prepping it, those kind of things. Yeah, so this is just, an exa you could get just something pre-mixed. This is just um, oil and uh, balsamic, Okay. you know, and you could get it pre-mixed or you could just make your own. It's two to one. So two tablespoons of the balsamic okay. to one tablespoon of the olive oil. You okay. could put in a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, whatever you want to do to make that dressing, and then just kind of pour it over. Add the onions. This has uh, basil and some mint in it, and like I said, you can put it over some... Oh, some Kelly knows oh. how to speak our language. I'm yep. ready to try this. Are you? You go ahead. I'm and so as excited. You do, I'm, we will in just a moment. It's funny that you brought watermelon this morning, because we were just talking about how since the Tour de Cure back earlier in June... Yeah. We, Norma, I have noticed, uh, our co-workers and our families mm. continuing to ride their bikes so much. Yeah. And I was doing some errands on Saturday morning, came home. My mm. husband and my neighbor were eating some watermelon before yeah. they went out for a ride. It's like, I mean, you think about it with, like, bananas, leg cramps, all that kind of stuff. It does have that, not as much as some of the other ones, but it has some of the potassium. <coughs> it's just a good summertime oh my summertime gosh. fruit. That is so good. Get a lot of flavor in there. Yeah, you can taste you the onions, You can taste the right? onion. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what I love about this is the <laughs> lime. You can taste. You can taste the. It's just like a blending of, of flavors. Yep. It's all good. Yep. It's delicious. And the recipe is on the website, right? Yep. So it's on. It's at diabetes.org/recipes. It's also on the Fox Rochester site. Mm. Um, it's all over too. You go to the magazine aisle. Every cover of you know the the magazines has it's some kind of melon summer, salad. Isn't it? Yep. You know what it is? Yep. It's not summer in a glass. It's summer on a plate. That's right. Summer on a plate. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So take it to your take it to your barbecue. Let us know how it is and what it's people delicious. think. Yeah. So I just had some basil. Try different additions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some mint. And what I like mm. is like you come and share these with us on the air, but then we also post the recipes on the Fox mm -hmm. Rochester site too. Yep. So if you like what you see here, you can go and make the recipes. And um, I'm Super assuming easy. we have all the old ones too because yeah, we're. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's, Kelly's been like my go-to girl for ideas because she comes on and then she makes something. I'm like, that's so good. And I run home and I make it. So. And it's so easy, right? If I can do it and prep it, <laughs> she then we know that it's easy. Yeah, we prep it. And we, you know, I, I find this stuff with few ingredients. You know, I've just discovered the, simple, the, better the sometimes. mandolin I feel slicer. Like, yep. Yeah. Like all these I love it. You can tricks. do this, and as I said, you can do this without onion as well if, you're, if you want. Yep. But it's still get that great it flavor. Or blanch it Yep. Yeah. All right. Thank you so very much. Yeah, thanks All for right. having me. Oh, Coming up next. Happy summer. You know what says summer? What? Bubble ball. Bubble mm -hmm. ball soccer. <laughs> More with Hannah Welker and the boys. Uh, and the one girl. There is another girl out there. <laughs> Hannah. Are you getting in there? They're getting into it. <laughs> Go!